What's up guys? Army Channel here. Um, this is going to be a video. I'm just going to show you uh, what I did to this pistol. This is what I did to it. Um, as you remember in the last video, um, the last video I told you uh, the barrel where the ejection port is was getting worn out looking and it had the green, you know this is a green gun, like a dark green gun kind of grayish green and the same color is on the ba barrel from the tip to the back so uh, where it's exposed in the ejection port it's green but from using the gun it's getting scratched up, it's getting worn up looking, uh, the green's chipping off and uh, I come up with an idea and uh, <clears throat> actually I got it from a picture I seen I can show you that right now well I can't show you that right now yes I can show you that right now, hold on buddy of mine made this for me so calm elite now if you look at these at these 1911's here they look like Colts the uh, the top of the barrel is silver which is stainless steel and then the end of the barrel is the color of the gun it's almost the exact same color as my gun Christ it's, it is so I said I would love my gun to look like that I want to take that color off of there and have that stainless steel exposed and then it won't look worn and it'll make the gun dress the gun up really nice keep it sweet looking so this is what I did that's what I did with it sorry I don't know if I had it in the right spot right here I took the collar off the barrel and now my gun looks like these guns with the exception of the trigger I ain't touching my trigger okay it used to look this was all the same collar the ejection port the top of the barrel was all the same collar alright I got a buffer and here it is Okay, so here's the product. There it is. I don't know if you can see it real good. See how it's nice and little stainless steel sh exposed. Another good thing about it is uh, where it says 45 auto, because the color stayed into the stamping, it's it, it's really uh, pronounced now. You can really see it. it. Catches your eye. Looks real nice. I think it makes the whole gun look better. Look, it look makes it look like better quality. And uh, it's, it's pretty much the same as the gun you've seen in the picture now. I love that look. I like the barrel showing with the stainless steel. I don't like barrels that are painted. I can't. I don't like it. So, because it gets scratched up looking, looks like hell. But it really enhances the gun's look. Okay. I'm actually. I'm going to take this apart and, and, and show you what, how, how, what I did to it. Okay. So the first thing you want to do when you're taking this apart is to remember how to take it apart. No. Alright. First thing you want to do is push down the make sure this camera's right, looks like it's down too far. Push down the takedown plug right here. That's the first thing you gotta do is safety check it, right? Okay. Nothing in there. See? Zero. Okay. Safety check's done. Push the takedown plug down. Swing it to the left, take the spring out, twist the spring out, don't pull the spring out. If it's hanging on there, twist it out. When it breaks in, it'll just come out. What, what makes it hang on is when you get a new gun, it has this paint on the back of it, and it makes it hold on to the barrel. I mean the guide spring rod, sorry. Then you swing this back to the right, and this lifts right out. Okay. Take that out. Now we're going to cock that back and push it to the first notch right here just give it a little push and this will pop right out slide stop lever this really ain't a takedown video so I'm trying to okay, I'm take the frame off steel frame not aluminum fuck aluminum okay uh, guide spring guide okay I'm going to take the barrel out and show you what I the barrel there's the barrel and this is what I did to it okay I just got a buffer a Dremel like this a good Dremel and I got um, I put this stuff on it flits you rub this all over it just the area where you want to buff off okay and then you get yourself a buffer this comes with the Dremel if you ever get one all this comes with it 
you get a little buffer wheel on there. The buffer, not a sander, not a no wheels, soft buffer. Okay, and you start you just start buffing it. And one of the most important thing is when you're doing this to your gun, you got to have a cup of water next to you. Because if if you because when you're buffing it, this is going to get real hot. And if it gets too hot, what happens is the steel is going to turn purple. And if the steel turns purple, you're going to be fucked. Because the only way you're going to get that purple out is if you use a grinder and you have to take you have to take remove material. You don't want to remove material. You just want to remove the color, just the ink, whatever the fuck it is they use. Just the treatment. You just want to remove that. So be careful. When you're buffing it and you feel it getting hot in your hands, dip it in the water, cool it down, get a rag, wipe it off real good. Put the flits on it again, rub it, and then start buffing it again. I had to do it about four times before I got it to, the, to look like this. Okay, so there it is. I think it came out really nice. Uh, nicer than I thought it was going to come out. And uh, I'm real fucking happy with it, man. I really am. Excellent. Looks awesome now. I always love I always love this gun. I told you guys that before. You know, the only thing that was bothering me was that wear. So, you know, certain guns wear looks real good on. Just you know, what the hell am I doing? You know what I mean? But uh I gotta line up the barrel link if you know what that is. Like I said, this ain't a disassembly or an assembly video, so I'm not gonna you know that should go right in here. That shouldn't be like that. I don't know why it's being like that. Okay. Uh, it's okay. It's not the best. It should go in there. Here it goes. Okay. Now what you want to do is slide that in. Now slide it to the first notch to the square hole. That square hole. Chris, I should do this in my fucking with my eyes closed. Right. Guess I'm not that talented. Okay. Slide it. Okay. Slide stop pins in. Now when I do that, I'm going to slide this all the way to the rear, all the way to the front, and then put the thumb safety on. Like that. You want to put your thumb safety on. It keeps it from moving around. Okay, first thing you do is put your bushing in. Slide to the right. Okay. And you put your uh, guide spring in. You feel it. You'll feel it going on there. Twist it on. There it goes. Twist it. Twist it. Twist it. Twist it. Good, and then you just with your finger just push it down. You don't need tools. You know, it's not it's not that hard to push this down. Okay, there yeah, that's it. Now usually some people move it over till it snaps, but I don't like doing that because it rubs on here and wears that out. Here it is. It's back together. I'm gonna do a function tip chest test, right? Take the safety off. Function test. Shoot it. Function test. Let's make sure the uh, firing pin's working. Stick a pencil in there with the eraser down. And if it shoots out, we know we're good. Alright. Okay, the firing pin works. Empty magazine. And that's it, man. I'm trying to show it to you. Hope that's catching it. There it is. Stainless steel barrel now. Oiled it all up. So got you know, always touch check it, make sure it's wet. It's good to go. There it is. That's the finished product. I think it came out very nice. It came out better than I thought it was going. I was really nervous. I'm like, if I fuck this up, I'm gonna have to go buy another barrel. But hey, it's it's perfect. That's no better than a gunsmith would do it. Okay. So YouTube is still fucked up. Uh, my my mail my mail is still saying I have 41 messages and uh, I guess we just gotta wait till they do maintenance again then it'll, it'll probably fix it. So if everyone else is having the same problem, that's probably what you gotta wait for. All right, uh, I'm gonna do a video on the Kimber CDP probably later today because I want to get that one done too.